All right, Ross here, uh, otherwise known as Sing Tall on the forums. I'm going to shoot a quick video here from my buddy Sean. He's got some questions about the Black Star HD5 head and the RP1000, which I got on the floor here. Playing, this is a custom guitar, it's one of my jobs. Uh, it's got some custom pickups. This guitar sounds a lot like Petrucci, uh, what is the DiMarzio Crunch Lab in Liquifier, something like that. It sounds really similar to that. Um, so, if you're trying to get a reference, uh, Black Star head hooked up four cable method to RP1000. This is a custom cabinet with uh, G12 T75, which is standard Marshall 1968 type of speakers. And this is just a raw sound of just the amp. I've got a preset set up that just gives me the sound of the amp with nothing else. <laughs> kind of my standard basic rhythm sound. This guitar is tuned to G. Uh, sorry, mother guitar is out. Now uh, you can sweep the ISF and get all kind of... basic sound. Anyways, uh, the clean sound, you can get the clean sound. These pickups are really, really super, super hot. Um, so if I wanted to keep this thing clean, I'd back it off just a little. But the clean sound, you have no way of referencing this over the camcorder because the camcorder is going to compress this down. I checked it on my dB meter on my iPhone, which isn't too accurate anyway. Looks like me talking is about 75 to 80 dB, just talking right now. Uh, this amp, it, it stops at over 105 dB, it's just pegged out. So this thing will get pretty loud. You hear wide open, it's breaking up. Bring it down. Call tap. Anyway, so it'll get pretty loud and clear, uh, depending on your pickups, it should, you should be able to crank it pretty good without it distorting. Distortion channel, of course it's got a ton of gain. And of course, uh, you can add a pedal, give it more distortion. Cool, you gotta love that about this uh, this pedal. Uh, I tried some other sounds like a rectifier. Of course, you know, I tweaked it the way I like it. See if I dime the gain now. Gain wide open. I never really liked rectifiers until now. This one, I, I kind of dig it. Uh, triple rec, real similar. Uh, JTM 45, I modified it, put an amp driver. I like this one. Oh. Kind of breaks up really good, oval style. I really didn't like the JCM 800 until I put it through this head and got some tubes kind of working with it. Even though I'm not really cranking it much here, it, it, to me it still sounds a little bit better. More dry. Now here's some weird stuff I found on here. If you go through like a... Um, an RG100. That's wide open. I can't get it any louder. Another one that doesn't get loud. 5150. So that's the kind of weird thing you have to work out is 
You can use a 5150 in the RG100 head. You have to know that right off the bat, they aren't going to be as loud as the Black Star. Um, I have no way of adjusting that. that. That's just weird. It's like the Black Star, the gain feeds a distortion, it goes into the RP, and it comes back, and I have this massive volume. That's it. Um, so unless somebody comes up with a way to really tweak that, um, just the stock head's going to be louder than RG150, 150, and right now there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, Mark IV sounds pretty chunky. <laughs> JCM 2000. JCM 900. That's just me monkeying around a little bit. But anyways, uh, I think you'd be pretty happy with it. Uh, I played around with it with a drummer, and though I did have it cranked almost wide open, which felt tremendous, by the way, uh, it was loud enough for me because I was miking the deal and I had a little bit of that mic sound coming through my monitor because it was a big stage, but I found this was fine. Uh, if you want to hear just your amp, you may want to move up to the 20. If you have a loud drummer, get the 20 watt version of this and you pretty much can't go wrong. It's going to be really loud. So hopefully that helps, man. Uh, if not, give me a buzz, give me an email and let me know what you need me to do and I'll try to tweak it for you. Later.